And three of the principals involved with Angel City join us now on SportsCenter. Academy Award winner Natalie Portman is here, along with Sydney LaRue, Kristen Press, both gold medal winners and Olympic champions. Natalie, let's start with you. When viewers tune in to the Angel City documentary, what will they see? Well, first they'll see the brilliance of these two women alongside their teammates, um, which is really the inspiration and, and everything that is so thrilling about uh, women's soccer in the United States today. Uh, and then also, I think, the story of how a team starts from scratch, which mm -hmm. I don't think we've gotten to see kind of behind the scenes of that with all of the wobbles and successes along the way. Um, you know, a pretty honest portrait of, of starting this team from scratch alongside these brilliant players. Sydney, from a player perspective, what do you think viewers will learn about the triumphs and the challenges of being a professional soccer player in the NWSL? Um, I've been in the NWSL from day one, and so I started off in Boston, and to see how far the league has come, I mean, people have no idea. Uh -huh. um, I mean, press, you can <laughs> attest to that. But um, it's been an amazing journey. But uh, being a part of Angel City has been really special. And seeing what they've done, you know, and what they want to do and continue to do for women's sports and women's soccer um, in L.A. Is, is amazing. So I'm happy to be a, a part of that. Both of you guys have lots of fans for the women's national team. But what do you think they're going to learn specifically about playing in the women's league stateside. Yeah, I think the fans for the U.S. women's national team have always set the standard of yep. what it means to be a women's sports fan and how that transcends what's happening on the pitch um, because of what the national team has always represented and symbolized for equity and progress for women. Um, and I think it's such a beautiful story at Angel City because the next step in equity and the next step in our progress was bringing that to the league. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the story of Angel City is watching the team win the World Cup and then going home and not being able to find any of the players. And so Angel City has taken that step so that we have that emphatic person that you know knows everything that we're doing. They get to the, come to the stadium and there's this special feeling that we have in the stadium week in and week out. And in a home environment in front of a home crowd, I don't think it's paralleled anywhere in the world. Right. The attendance has been unbelievable, especially here and in San Diego with another expansion team. What do you think goes into that? Well, it's really been um, an, such an enthusiastic audience because of the players. I mean, we have major stars that have huge fan bases, and they were rabid for it. They were begging for an NWSL team in Southern California. Now they got two. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's a very healthy rivalry nearby. So um, I think... There were, you know, these players are so extraordinary and have gotten this enormous, passionate fan base, and they were just ready to be served what we're giving them, which is these players in their hometown, you know. One of your partners in ownership, Alexis Ohanian, was here a few months ago. He said he invests in ventures with billion-dollar potential, and he saw a, an unlimited future for women's soccer here stateside what drove your passion in this i'm sure you get offers to be involved in all sorts of things what drove your passion for this project specifically i saw i watched my son um watch the women's world cup with the same passion and love for the game and the players as he did the men's world cup and i thought what a different world it would be if kids um, could grow up seeing their female athletes in the same light they see their male athletes, all genders of kids. And so I think that, you know, investing in women's sports, like you can't say right now, there's so many people say, oh, not as many people watch women's sports or not as many people care about it. If you don't invest in it, if you don't give it the same advertising dollars, if you don't give it the same sponsorship dollars, if you don't give it the same slots on, the, on prominent um, networks when games are broadcast, you can't compare it and you so you see this enormous potential for growth because it's already so popular without yep. any of that support so it's like if you give it that support it'll be astronomically you know successful let's talk a little bit about what's going on with the team now Kristen I know you're eager to get back after uh, the knee injury where, where are you right now well I hope I'm in the last stretch of my recovery um, but you never know 
Sid and I talk a lot about this. It's always a moving target, yep. um, and it takes a lot of patience and a little bit of trust in um, whatever the next step is supposed to be. But I'm working hard, and I hope to be back soon. Uh, you guys missed the playoffs last year, Sid. Uh, kind of a slow start out of the gate so far this season. What's it going to take to turn it around? Um, I think it's there. I think we saw that against Portland, mm -hmm. um, that we can compete, and we know that. And I think it's, it's just about getting the pieces together, and I think that's coming. Yeah. You two back on the pitch would help a whole lot, I'm sure. Please. <laughs> Please. Well, we sure hope so. Yeah. Yeah. We better. Natalie, there are a lot of uh, off-the-pitch initiatives uh, for Angel City as well. Which one really makes you proudest? Uh, so many of them are, are so exciting. We, we made a conscious decision at the beginning of the club that we wanted to give back to the community with every partnership we have. So with DoorDash, we've been dealing with food insecurity in Los Angeles, delivering free meals to Los Angeles residents in need. Um, with Gatorade, we've had a, a women's coaching program to um, create a pipeline for the next generation of coaches. Um, uh, with the Twinning Project, we... Um, brought the coaches into women's prison here in LA to work with incarcerated individuals um, that helps develop their s s emotional and physical well-being. So there's just been so many incredible programs and I'm so proud that the team can do that as well as just the, the intrinsic community service of bringing all these people together every time we have a game and bringing so much joy and so much entertainment. Sydney, for women athletes, there's always challenges that have nothing to do with playing the actual sport. And mm -hmm. another one has cropped up recently with the portrayal of women in the FIFA soccer video game. Would, okay. would they get wrong? Um, almost everything. <laughs> 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 and it's like, I, like we, we're allowed to make fun of ourselves. Yeah. And I think like that's kind of how it started. Like, no way did we spend all of this time doing the body scans and then like we come out looking like... I mean, we were basically men <laughs> with, like... I saw your quote. <laughs> you, ponytail. you said the picture was going to scare your children. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think that looks like me. Um, but, yeah, it's... You know, it's we make, like, these... Oh, yeah, we have women in the game now, but, like, that's... We're not represented like that. And so if we're going to do that, then, like, we need to get it right. And, you know, we, I think we missed the mark there, but um, <laughs> it's getting better and they've made um, updates to the game. And so, yeah, we're, we're happy that uh, we can play and we can see ourselves on the game and it actually looks like us. <laughs> <laughs> on the positive side, Kristen, the Challenge Cup, the in-season tournament, uh, the prize money's up to a million dollars. What does that signal to you about the ongoing fight for, for pay equity? I think that it's an incredible step because um, we're seeing investment come from all different places. And it was uh, a landmark announcement because it was the first time that a tournament at, at the league level was paid and compensated the same as our male counterparts. And I think the whole point of this is that like, it's a rising tide. And so, you know, the investment in Angel City is bringing up the entire value of the league. Mm -hmm. And we need sponsors and we need TV deals and all the things. And, you know, our job is to play and to be a great product. And with, with that support, um, I feel so much optimism in where we can be and where the next generation of players are going to be. All right. Hey, it's great having all of you here. Uh, continued success with with the club and with the documentary. I mean, we're always looking for shows to watch if, with all this content out here. So we got one for you. Angel City on HBO and HBO Max. Hi, everybody. This is Natalie, Kristen and Sydney. And, and this, this is Sports Center, Center from Los Angeles. Angeles. Winner, thank you so much. <laughs>